Hey, good morning. Um, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to go tuna fishing. Come on, come on, Boomer. Come on. Don't make me beg. Don't make me beg. Oh, you're such a cat. Come on. There you go. There we go. Okay. I'm getting ready to go tuna fishing and oh my god it, there's a I think tuna fishing is a very very rough uh, it, it's rough on anybody who's got a tendency to be a little bit uh, hmm what's the right word focused dedicated obsessed OCD, way too much time to tie flies and prepare your gear and think about your lines and your hooks and your flies and all that stuff. Um, just too much time to prepare in between the time when you actually go tuna fishing. Uh, now, you know, if you got a big boat, um, by the way, I'm trying, I'm tying some Dorado flies for Chris. Uh, he's going Dorado fishing in, when? October, I think. Uh, sometime like that. Anyway, it, uh, it, we've got too much time to think about it, too much time to prepare, and it's, uh, it's nuts and, and you know so I was thinking this morning I've got how many flies I got more tuna flies and you could use um, more tuna flies than I could use in a lifetime of the number of times I'm going to go tuna fishing because um, the fact is when you get out there um, let's say you've got a day tuna fishing in a dory, 20 ballpark, 20 foot dory, uh, two guys, three guys maybe. Um, you troll a little bit, troll fly a little bit, you're hunting for fish, you hook up, uh, you're playing that fish, you're casting and stripping, um, and then you're uh, it's just such a short window. You're going to get to use a few flies, two flies, maybe three flies in a day. Um, it's, there's just, I don't think there's, well, there's probably plenty of things like it, but the action comes so fast that uh, you got to be prepared to act on it just instantly, in a heartbeat. You got to be ready to, because they don't wait for you. And if you don't capitalize on it just right now, it's done. It's over. They moved on. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just. I am rambling. The the thing that's I, I oh, so I heard somebody one time say. By the way, you know, any time I think of saying something, I'll bet somebody has said it before. A thousand years ago, or five hundred years ago, or last week, there's somebody in the world had the same thought that I had. I don't know if there are any brand new thoughts. Maybe there are. I'm not talking about technology thoughts. I'm talking about Thoughts about life and passion and sorrow and kitties and doggies. Uh, somebody's thought it before. They may not have recorded it on a YouTube video. They may not have uh, written about it on a blog. But it's darn sure been thought about before. I just, I just believe that. That doesn't make our thoughts less important. Um, I guess it just makes us 
lucky or something that we can now I want to make that longer we are in a unique position if we can record our thoughts on a video or write them down to share them and I think maybe it's I, I know there uh, when I read some things the, the it just kind of resonates with me um, and I guess that's that's really nice to, to be able um, I don't know I remember seeing a book one time and the book was dynamite about the Vietnam War and the, the name of the book was A Bright and Shining Lie. And she, wasn't that a good book? Wasn't that a good book title? And the, 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 the book title just resonated with me. It just, oh, did I repeat that word too many times? Uh, the book title just got me. And the A Bright and Shining Lie. And, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm not doing this very well. Um, what time is it? Six o'clock. It's end of August. Uh, I'm going to the fishing. So a lot of this book was about the Vietnam War, and it was about how much the government lied about what was going on and they said we were winning when we weren't winning and you know government will eat people up they'll eat they'll send these people off to war used to you know I was about to say they send young men well nowadays they don't just send young men off to war they send young they send men and women of all ages off to war and they use them up and they take their and I got guess what I got this from a movie they take their limbs they take their spirit they take their life they take their youth they take their lives the government will do all that and throw these people into war make them do terrible things and then abandon them just leave them for nothing and I resent that uh, I resent that uh, I don't meet that many very, very many veterans these days I think the number of people who have served, I'm a vet, I never was in combat. I think it's a good thing because I don't think I would have survived emotionally. My dad didn't. World War II and Korea, it hurt him really, really badly. And I think, oh, war is a terrible thing. But war seems to, war seems to be a fact of life, of the human condition. Um, and that's, uh, you know, that's not my original thought either. I don't know if I have any original thoughts, but it, we've been doing wars forever. Maybe we always will, I don't know. War is a terrible, terrible thing, what it does to people. It does to everybody. But I don't know. I had a terrible thought about war. Anyway, man, oh man, what got me by the tail this morning? Um, this is Dorado Fi. Uh,
South America. The Amazon jungle is burning, burning up. I don't know how bad it is, who knows. Could be bad. There's some things happening to this planet. There's some things happening around. You know, uh, I heard somebody else say, and I think this is true. If you look at the average human condition today, in 2019, there are more people that have water, there are more people that have shoes on their feet, there are more people that have food than there were 10 years ago or 20 years ago. The human condition has gotten better. Now that may not be true for the middle class in America. That middle class might be shrinking and but you know, if you, you think about people around the world who, how many people just were living in worse poverty. I don't know. I'm talking about things I don't know anything about, so I think I'm going to shut up. Uh, so this is a fly. Chris sent, he, he sent me a video. Uh, somebody who knows more about these they sure know more about the fish and the good fly tires. These flies have a... I, I'm, I'm doing my fly with a uh, flared out tail and I'm doing it with hollow bucktail and then uh, and this by the way this is a working fly this is a guide fly. I have nothing pretty about the job I'm doing tying this. Uh, nothing pretty about this. Okay, I, you know, I, well, I'd like to write something every day. I'd like to record something every day. I know I'm not gonna. So, if you found anything, you know, even if you sit back and go, wow, what kind of mood is he in today? That's all right. I hope whoever sees this uh, hope you have a moment to cherish what you have I don't know if you have a kitty in your lap or a doggy or a parakeet oh I've got a cat covered with covered with black deer hair Actually, it's spinning elk. I hope you have a decent day. Uh, thanks.